Hello, Frank Strayer here again. Um, this isn't really a tutorial, this is more of like uh, uh, a proud moment for me, uh, I guess you could say. Um, Smallville ended <clears throat> as of last Friday, and <clears throat> it's sad that we had to see the show go, but I'm kind of glad they ended it the way they did, and actually making Clark into the Superman um, before ending the show. Um, in memory of that, I decided to make my own Superman outfit for Second Life. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. Alright, what you see now is basically a polyester pattern that I used to uh, colorize the suit with. Basically, the, the shirt or the top and the, the bottom of the suit. Um, and scroll forward. We have basically what I did is I took uh, the Superman logo and I did a cutout and uh, paste it on top of that uh, polyester pattern that I put on the shirt. And this is the final result that I received uh, after uh, completing the uh, shirt design. I added some wrinkles in the front and the back a little bit and on the arms. And I kind of stretched it out to the handle to, to make sure I get the full hand amount. Um, so. Next, uh, we have the pants. As you can see, I did a 3DS Max um, representation, I, I like to call it, of, uh, of, of the underwear. And then I took a, a photo or a snapshot of the front and the back, and um, I did a cutout of those. And I did the same polyester uh, coloring design for both the front and the back of the pants. Um, now I want to add that um, the cape and the boots had to be designed inside of Second Life. Um, I didn't know exactly how to create the boots just yet because I'm still in the learning process of, uh, of, of uh, getting things going for this whole Second Life uh, store that I want to that I want to start and see where that goes. Um, well, this is my first fully functional outfit, and uh, all I did was was take uh, these two and uh, up upload them into Second Life and uh, custom outfit uh, shirt and pants, basically the top and the bottom of the uniform. I sculpted. The boots and the cape inside of Second Life, and this was the result that I got from that. So here we are in Second Life, and you can see that I have the entire outfit from front to back, and it custom fitted pretty well, I might add. And as you can see, the cape and the boots were made here, and the the texture was made from the underwear actually. So. Um, everything was colorized perfectly. And uh, uh, let's see, I want to add that uh, the cape is, is flexible, so it kind of moves around like Superman's cape a little bit. So if I actually go flying, The cape will cor correspond with your flying movements, so <laughs> that's what's pretty fun about it. Well, um, okay, this has been my example, and I just thought I should share that with you. Um, I love Superman. Uh, I love Smallville, and it's too bad the show had to end, but it's uh, my little commemoration for Smallville. Thank you.